All right, when I switch to a window manager over a desktop environment, one of the biggest things that I missed was having battery notifications. So I'm talking about something like this, some little pop-up that will tell you how much battery you have remaining and basically give you a warning whenever it's about to run out because I know that you can make your little icon up here turn red whenever your battery is about to run out, but I never saw that or I was running something in full screen and sometimes my laptop would just die out of the blue. So for people like me that don't pay enough attention to how much battery is left, I really need something like this telling me how much is remaining. And it would be nice to have a few other notifications as well. So I also created a few more. So for instance, I have a notification whenever my laptop is discharging. I have a notification whenever my laptop is charging. And I have a notification whenever my battery is fully charged. All of those are nice to have. Just because sometimes you think that you plug in your laptop and it doesn't actually charge for whatever reason. So it's nice to have all these little notifications just letting me know what's going on in my system. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can do all of that. And it's actually pretty simple. You don't have to download any program for this. We can set it up ourselves with a couple of scripts. And then we just set a cron job in order to automatically run it. I will show you all of that. So let's get started by installing a couple of things that you will need. You probably already have these, but just in case you don't, you would want to install with your favorite package manager. You're going to want a notification daemon. Let's get dunced. And if you don't already have dunce set up, I have a whole other video on that that you should check out. And you will also need something to manage your cron jobs. In my case, I use crony, but I think any other cron scheduler would work as well. This is just what I personally use. So if you already have these two installed, then you are good to go. So now let's actually make this script. And of course, let's start with probably the most important, a low battery notification to let you know to plug in your laptop. So let's open up a script I have here. It's going to be under .local slash bin, and it's going to be called battery notify. And this might look like a lot, but uh, let me just break down everything for you. So in order to actually get the battery level and whether it's currently charging or not, I'm using this utility called ACPI. Again, I believe this is installed by default. And so from the command line, we can run ACPI-B and get a little bit of information right here. So it's currently charging, it's at 98%. And so basically what we wanna do is we wanna grip out these values right here. So if we wanna get just the percent right here, what we can do is we can pipe it to grip and run this regular expression that will grab this for us. I'll have a link to this script in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste this. You don't have to completely rewrite this from scratch. And there's gonna be another grep that will get whether it's charging or not. So we're going to see if we can find the word discharging, and we can't, so it's returning a zero. If it was discharging, then it would return a one. And so we can use that in a script. We can check if the battery is discharging and check the battery level. And finally, the last variable is just what percentage that you want to notify it at. For me, my laptop is near death at around 15%, so warning me at 25% gives me a little bit of time to do that. And down here, what we're doing is we're checking if the battery level is greater than 95%, and we're also making sure that the battery is not currently discharging. So if it is charging and if the battery level is greater than 95, then we're going to run this command notify send, and we're just going to say that the battery is charged, battery is fully charged, and then we're passing an icon here. Again, if you wanna learn more about notifications, I have a whole other video on that, explaining all of this if you want more detail. If you're not sure what this dash R option, this dash I option, if you're not sure how those work. But if you do want battery notifications, I do have them in a folder right here. So I have a alert, a charging, and a battery full icon right here. And just so you know, I got these all from material design icons. You can come to a website like this, type in battery, so you can search something like battery charging here, find an icon here that you like. You can click on this and then click advanced export and you can choose the color and the size and everything. There might be a better way to do this, but this is just what I've done. And you can then export that as a PNG and save that in your icon folder. If you need battery icons, that's what I did. But anyway, let's get back to this script right here. So that's basically what we're doing. And then this is saying, else if the battery is not greater than 95 then we want to check if the battery level is less than the warning level and also if the battery is currently discharging 
So we don't want to show a notification if it's already charging, then we don't really need to care. And then we're just sending a notification that's saying battery level is remaining, given an urgency of critical so that it will display as red. And I'll explain what all these full files are and all these empty files are in a bit. But first off, let's add this as a cron job. So let's exit out of this. And if you have a cron manager installed, then you can do something like cron tab dash E. This will let you edit your file. And I've added this right here, which is basically saying every five minutes, you don't want to put all your stars here. This is just saying every day of the week, every week of the month, that kind of thing. And this slash five is just saying to run it every five minutes. So you can change that to how often you want it to check. But for me, it's just going to check to see if the battery is full or if the battery is under 25% every five minutes. And so I put the location of the script right here and then you would save this. And then of course, if you made a change, then it will update that automatically for you. And of course, you'll also wanna give this script executable permissions if you haven't already. So let's say chmod plus x and then the location of your battery script. I've already done this, but it's just so you can run it as a script. And then finally, you might be thinking that you're going to be getting notifications already, but there's one more thing that you need to do and that's export these two variables right here. And that's because from a cron job, it can't actually access your display server. And so by default, it's not going to know where to send the notifications to. So we're just saying, right here basically to send it to our primary display and then this dbus session bus address is going to need access to this but it's not going to have it so what you can do to find yours uh, i'm not sure if it's going to be the same as mine but you can run echo dbus session bus address inside your terminal and it will give you this and that's basically what i'm using right here so just copy and paste this into here and then it should be able to display notifications from a cron job it's kind of a hacky way to do this, but this is what you're going to have to do in order to display notifications from there. And then finally, one more nice thing that we can do is we can actually see if we've already displayed a notification or not. So you might be thinking right now that whenever the battery is full, it keeps running every five minutes. So every five minutes, it should continuously show me a notification if the battery is already full, which I don't really want. That would be kind of annoying to get a notification every five minutes. So I kind of save whether a notification has been sent already in these two files right here. And these are just creating an empty file inside temp. So of course that's in here. And if we go here right now, we can see that, yes, there is a battery full file right here. So again, it's kind of a hacky way to save the state of if we've sent the notification yet already. So whenever the battery is full, as you can see right here, it sends a notification but it also creates a file called battery full in temp. It's just an empty file, but then we check right here to make sure that it's not already there. If it's already there, then we don't want to keep sending notifications. And it's the exact same idea for the empty. So if the battery is already empty, I don't want it to keep reminding me every five minutes. So it's going to create the empty file right here and check to see if it doesn't exist. And only if it doesn't exist, then it will send me a notification. And this if statement right here is just checking to see if the battery is still charging or not. If the battery is no longer charging, then remove the full file and basically just reset the notifications every time the computer starts charging or discharging. So yeah, it's just a hacky way that I've found so it doesn't send me a whole bunch of notifications. And again, you probably don't want to type all this out, so link will be in the description for this. But finally, let's also get notifications whenever we plug in or unplug our charger. And so we will create a separate script for that. I have another script here, it's called charging notify, and it's going to be pretty similar. As you can see, we also need to export the display and the dbus session bus address. And we're just taking an argument here. So if it's going to be one, that means it's charging. And if you pass in the value of zero, that means it's discharging. So we're just taking that argument here as a variable battery charging. And then we're getting the battery level, same as we did in the other script. And this is all pretty self-explanatory. If we pass in a one, then we want to send a notification of charging. If not, make it discharging. But the tricky part here is how we can actually configure this to send a notification whenever we unplug our computer. So we're going to do that with UDEV rules. And if you want to do some more reading about this, there's a whole article on the Arch Wiki going into more detail. But what UDEV allows us to do is it basically lets us set events 
for when something physical happens to the computer, say you unplug or plug in the power. And so what we're going to do is, let me clear all this, we're going to go into slash etsy slash udevs slash rules dot d and we're going to create a new rules file right here. I have a file here called power.rules and we can just hit enter. It can be any name that you want to be honest. I just set mine to power.rules, hit enter and we're going to have a couple of things in here and this is going to look like a lot but I actually just copied this from the arch wiki right here and again this may not be the best way to do it. It's kind of a hacky way to do it. You're hard coding variables even the arch wiki is yelling at me. I know, but this is the easiest way I found to do it. And so what all of this is doing right here is it basically saying when we get a change action to the power supply, and if it returns a one, if it is charging, then we want to get the display of zero. We want to get our primary display, and we also need to pass in the X authority here. And so you're going to want to change this to slash home slash username slash dot X authority. And then we're going to run this script but we're going to have to specifically run it as the user Eric or whatever your username is. And then we want to pass in the entire path to our charging notify script and finally pass it a one if it is charging and a zero if it's not charging. So yeah, this is kind of a mess. I'll leave a link to the copy and paste this as well. But if you don't type this out, then it's not going to show the notifications properly on your display screen. So that's why all of this extra verbiage is needed and additionally, inside your charging script, you will also want to write out the full path to this. I believe if you don't write the full path, it's not going to work. Just because that's how UDEV rules work, you're going to have to write out the entire path to your notify send command. Let me see if this works. Okay, never mind that last point. I think it's still going to work even if you don't put in the full path here. So you can just say notify send here. But maybe if you're having problems, you can write the full path again. But in this file, you want to have one more variable right here. Just export the X authority as well. So you write the full path to your X authority file inside your home directory. And finally, once you're all done with that, then you can reload your UDEV rules by running sudo UDEV ADM control dash dash reload. Or if you want, I guess you could restart your computer as well. But we just run that and then all the UDEV rules will be updated. So you should be able to unplug your computer, plug it back in, and get these notifications like I am right here. Oh, and I forgot to go over this because I don't personally have a sound play whenever my notification pops up. But if you do want to have a sound alert play whenever uh, your notification comes up, you can probably do something like this in the Arch Wiki right here. Uh, they use PA play and then uh, these options right here in order to play a sound. And you could just add this to your script right here. I don't personally have a sound, so I haven't tested it, but this will probably work. And I'll leave a link to the script right here in the description so you can try that out. All right, you now have battery notifications. It, it was a little bit of a hassle, but I will leave links to all these so you can just copy and paste. And it's totally not necessary, but it's another one of the small quality of life things that I like to have in my Linux setup. And so this is a basic example, but I'm sure you could tweak it to configure if you have multiple batteries, something like that or any other weird edge cases. I hope I've given you enough information so that you can take it and run with it. But now you have all these nice notifications so you can finally see if your laptop is dying before it actually does.